Hola, bienvenidos a Lady Lovely Locks. Working on my Spanish. So today I am finally bringing to you ladies this piece. So I've honestly had this piece for just about a year now, probably about a year because I bought it in May during the pandemic. And then I wore it to my next assignment when I was doing all my COVID travel nursing. And so I've had her this long. She gets worn monthly. Um, I've been meaning to do this forever, like every other freaking video that I say. But um, I think this is a good time now with this piece because she's, I've had her for a year now. I, I've, I've got a lot to say about her. And I have, you know, I, I know if I want to recommend this piece, this brand, all that kind of stuff and my thoughts. And um, I thought you, it'd be good for you to see a human hair wig uh, when it's been worn, you know, quite a bit for a long time. And we're going to talk about that. So this wig is by Gardot Wigs. Um, as if you've never looked at their website, check them out. They're, they're, when it comes to human hair, they're really my go-to. Granted, I've only, I've only bought this piece from them because I'm trying to venture out and try all the different brands and um, I can't just buy wigs all the time. I don't, I can't, I can't afford it, I don't need to. But um, I always look there when I'm in the market. Their wigs sell fast because they're popular. Now, they don't, if you've never been to their site, you gotta check them out because they don't have just one type of wig. They don't have one type of cap. They only sell human hair wigs, but they have different brands that they sell. They have their own line. Their own line varies from like wetted caps to all lace to silk tops, um, deluxe caps. So, and then they also, they sell John Renault wigs that they redo. Um, let's see, eye wigs. And um, this brand here, you don't hear a lot about, but it's called Bella Nuova. And I'll add that title to this link. Now, when I was looking, I didn't want, I like the idea of not having a lace front. Um, so I got this piece, I had for my military job, and I've, I posted another video about wearing wigs in the military, um, and I include this piece, and I'll actually add it to this video so you can see what I was talking about during that time and um, wearing this piece. But I got this because it didn't have a lace front, and um, I just, I wanted a longer piece. My other piece I wore before for my military job, well, first I wore Ignite by John Renault. And that piece, everyone was like, oh, wait, wait, wait. And it was short. I thought I'd be able to pull it off as my hair. No, definitely not. So then I saved up and I got Raquel Welch's um, Salvo Affair. And I got her on an extremely discounted price, like I think a third of the regular cost. And I loved her. She, so it was in shade of cappuccino. I love that color. I still love it. Um, the silk top on that wig, like nobody thought I was wearing a wig. Why did I sell it? It was shorter, so it was harder to keep my hair back. Like it was in my military job, we have to have our hair back. So I couldn't keep it in a nice professional bun. And I always wanted one of those nice buns. So I wanted a longer hair. Plus it had silicone and I can't do silicone all over it was like big piece of silicone here and at the nape it looks super realistic because of it and how they made that cap but it just it made me sweaty i held it down with gotta be glue and in the summer i just wanted to whip my you know take my wig off and that wig i just couldn't do that so i sold her and she's moved on to a better place if they could make that exact color in a wig line that doesn't have um silicone all over their cap i would be into it so anyways, I found this as a replacement, this Bella Nuova wig. You don't hear about this much. It's hardly even on the Gardo Wigs website. I don't even know where else you can find this wig cap, but we're still gonna talk about her. So um, this cap is 100% hand tied. This is human hair wig. They say on the when they're talking about this wig that it's a European blend. So most wigs are like Chinese and Mongolian hair, Chinese, Indian hair, Mongolian hair. This says it's a European blend. They're not quite sure what that means. I'm not gonna try and assume that means different people who donate their hair from Europe. So it is pretty good quality. Um, it is at a point where it needs to be washed, but I wanted to show you guys before I washed it, just for comparison's sake. But 
This wig is 100% hand tied. This is what it looks like. It has silicone. Now I said I don't like silicone, but this doesn't nearly have the amount of silicone as the Savoy Fair. It's just got these strips right here for sticking better. This is the top. It is a a monofilament top of some sort. I've never seen it before. I even took it to my wig gals and they were like, oh, this is different. I've never seen it. It has a strip right there where you could put tape to help secure the wig. I've never done that. I'm not a fan of tape. And then it's got these ear tabs. This is not, so I don't know how you would describe these ear tabs. It's not silicone. It's a very thin strip that just helps adhere to your ear a little better. I don't have to use any sort of anything. I just use this to hold it down, as you can see. So, um, and it does just fine. But, um, and then it's got, this is the nape. It's got these, uh, it's got adjustable stays in the ear tabs and at the nape. Uh, but, um, and then the cap, you can tell is just this little mesh, uh, mesh lace. It's very comfortable. This wig is not itchy at all. Um, now what I will talk about is, is there's adjustable straps. I, it would be nice if I could adjust this wig. It shows, I don't know if this was like a mess up. I never asked about it. But it shows that you can adjust it. See, this is like those bra strap adjusters. But I don't know where you would, if I unhook this, I don't know where else it would go. So I don't think it's adjustable. I don't think they say it's adjustable in the review. The reviews are only like, you know, a couple minutes long. So they don't talk about a lot. But here's the brand, Bella Nuova. And so that's what the cap looks like. So I'm going to put it back on. It doesn't have a lace front. I did that because a lot of times lace fronts can just be itchy. And with this one, I'm gonna use my little handy dandy dental pick. I can incorporate my hair. If you have more hair than me, like look how pathetic that looks, you guys. Um, You know, this will blend perfectly. Uh, and maybe if I didn't part it so far to the left I could blend it a little bit more but for me this does the trick to where it just gives that extra illusion of realism now and then what I do is now what I usually do you know I need to redo it on this one but I take a sharpie and you color that in and um it just it hides that color that you could see right there this wig I, I have back for work and it's like back like this. And so you can't really see that. I do have to make sure with these ear tabs, just like any ear tabs, you guys, that, um, you know, it's, you can, you hide that little area. It's usually just good to have those, the bangs like that pulled back. So when I put this back for my military job, it's like this. Um, and if I didn't have it parted over so far, I could keep that hair back. Sometimes I use a bobby pin. Sometimes it makes it all the way back. And I just do this. And I make sure, so this is when I got to make sure I have a mirror. But in case I don't, I just make sure that it's low enough for my bun. Make sure there's a hair down there. You don't bunch it all up. Make sure your ear tabs are bent like in and then you just make sure this hair you incorporate some of your hair if you can it just it looks a whole lot better you guys and then take you know you just make sure that those hairs right there are low enough to hide the line and you can do this with a lot of wigs not just this one but you know and then you can see like i can lift this part up a bit and it's just, you know, you can see that part. It just makes it look a little more realistic. So is this the most realistic scalp? No, but it does the trick. I mean, I don't feel like people are like, you know, looking at my head while we're talking because it blends pretty well. So, you know, it's got the rooting. This is a warm piece. It's not too blonde. Um, I liked it because it didn't stand out a lot. 
which is what I'm not trying to do in my military job. I like to blend in. Uh, so yeah. So anyways, let's talk about this hair. So I wear this wig at least one week in a month. Sometimes it only is one week in a month, but it gets worn all day. It gets pulled back. I wore it for a week when we were training, um, up North, wore it out in the woods. Um, I've worn this wig running with this, just that, just that wig grip. It stayed on. Um, so I'll have to run, wear this for the RPT test. Um, the density I don't think is too bad. I mean, I can put it in a bun, but it's still pretty voluptuous hair, you know? So this wig, as you could tell, like this is, when you first look at a human hair wig, the hair is so flowy and beautiful and looks fantastic because it's brand new hair. It's, the wig is brand new and you know, it's new. So it's still got all the coating on it. Everything makes it shiny and pretty. But um, this one, I've had it for a year. I've only had it washed like maybe twice. <laughs> I know, I'm bad. But because it doesn't get worn all the time, so I don't have to wash it all the time. It does need a washing now. I've worn this. I got a facial two days ago. And so um, there is product from the facial in here. I've worn it out. It's mainly yummy from the facial. Um, what else did I do in this wig? It's, you know, so it's got some product in it. Now it hasn't, this wig doesn't get as tangly as some of my other ones. You, the thing is with human hair wigs, they, they don't, they last a long time. If you know about this thing called return hairs, um, it is something. So think about this way. If you get a wig that is human hair, 16 inches in length, the human hair that was purchased for that wig is actually like, say 20 inches in length. So when they feed it through the cap, it's just like when you're sewing and you have the needle and you have that extra, you know, bit of string or extra bit of thread through the needle and then you tie it, you know, it's that extra hair that is left. That's the return hair. So if you see human hair and it looks like there's short hairs and you're like, ooh, damage. No, it's the return hairs. And that matters to the most at the nape. So I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry, no, that was bad. Let me throw it stray. Um, so at the nape is where this matters most. And so you can already see, like, you know, just by wearing it down, you can see it gets tingly. And what you have to do, I don't know if you can see those, but let's see. Usually all you have to do, this is, you really, this is something you mainly want to do at the nape. If you're first going to do this, do it at the nape. But it's better to take a, a long, like a, a comb with teeth. But if you see all these right here, see, those are return hairs. So it doesn't matter. You can have the most luxurious hair, hair, a wig that costs $20,000 you will have these return hairs. So what you have to do, and it takes time. Like I have a friend, she owns her wig, she owns a wig store company. She's giving me lots of tips. She's had her human hair wigs last a year of daily use because she went through and took the time to clip these out. You, you clip them as short as you can because these hairs, because they're in the opposite direction as the shaft is supposed to go, we always are told, oh, you know, the cuticle, the hair gets put in with the cuticle, so all the hair runs the same way and reduces tangling. It helps, but those return hairs mess that up. So you have to spend the time to go through, and I've done that to this wig, so it doesn't get nearly as tangly as my other ones that I've not done this to. And what I need to do and I need to stop buying wigs so that I can cut out those return hairs on the wigs I have so they all last longer. But we know that's not going to happen. I'm still going to buy wigs. I just am going to have more wigs to do that too. But, you know, it's good to take the time. You're watching a movie. You're hanging out at home to cut out those hairs because they mess with the flow of the hair and will cause all those tangles. It doesn't matter what conditioner you use with nothing. And, you know, you have to finger comb a wig throughout the day anyways, but... If you don't work on those return hairs, your wig will not last as long as you think. 
but it could. You're, you could be potentially getting rid of a, a, a wig prematurely because you didn't cut out those return hairs. So that is just something to think about with human hair wigs. Um, but that was my review on that piece. Do I recommend her? I absolutely do. She's beautiful. She's still, I mean, I wear it for my military job mainly. So if I do anything military related, that's what I wear. Um, I love it. It doesn't, you know, it stays put with this, um, velvet wig grip. Um, she, she's, I recommend her. I recommend Gerda wigs. I'm every day I look at pieces and there's some that I would totally get and then they get nabbed. And I also like that they have sezzle. So you can do the every two week pay, which is pretty cool. So if you're buying like a, you know, $1,700 wig, you can break that up into every paycheck that you get every two weeks. So that's pretty cool. Um, I totally recommend Gardo wigs. I'm definitely going to get more of their pieces. Um, every week I'm like close and then I'm like, no, Karen, you're a single mom. You gotta, don't buy so many wigs, you know? So anyways, that is, uh, my review on that piece. I hope it helps. And, uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Okay. Thank you. And see you guys in the next video.